it's on here yet again. Still haven't washed my hands, but that's okay because I'm going to make them dirty again. When I did a competition recently, I made this roll. <clears throat> and on the roll, I had an umbrella that I made for above the little bird. So, uh, Belinda did ask me at the time, which was a fair while ago now, if I could show how to do, I should do a tutorial on making the umbrella. Well, I sort of kind of cheated a little way with it, but I turned uh, one of these drinks umbrellas, I suppose you call them. Never had a drink with an umbrella in it, but that's what these are. I turned it into this. Now, um, I did have it here earlier, right? What I did was, quite easy, I took these bits off. I don't, now these are not dear to buy. You can get these in your party section of your stores or wherever it is you go. I, um, I left the top on that one, but and you can do that. All I did was I pushed it up, like so, and it's not going to stay unless it's got this tiny little, there's a tiny little ring that goes on there. And you push that up on it, and then it stays open. Okay? Now, I put gesso on it. Okay? Now I've got the brush here for that. That was this one. In the bottle. Now, it's avoiding me. I know. Was here a minute ago. It's a big roll of it. Well, bless me soul. What did I do with that? <laughs> that was me somewhere. It's under my feet. Anyway, so I just got the gesso and I painted it. Now, when I was painting it, it does go soggy. It does fall apart. Well, to the extreme where you can always fix it. You know, because I don't know what sort of paper that it's made out of, but it's very flimsy, right? Well, it's not actually, when I, when I say that, it's it's pretty good, actually, because it didn't, the only thing that happened was these parts here stopped, are uh, not sticking, but all I did was do the outside, just went round, coloured him in you know, with the gesso, put, put him on, didn't get too worried or concerned about what I was doing just kept on going with that and painted it okay now because this is a thing where it's going to have to dry inside and out before I can go any further I'm just going to show you how I went about the rest of it because I've done one I made earlier as in the process of doing this so I could show you now try to keep it up straight like that if you can and I have a piece of styrofoam and I have a piece of now the styrofoam is underneath something but I also bought myself a piece of oasis you know that you put your flowers in and I just still have it in the plastic but I just stick whatever it is I'm drying into that okay and that way it can just sit up there and dry and when it's done I can get it down okay so that's a good idea that I think anyway well, the people I'm sure can do it but you can do it with a piece of styrofoam if you get a nice big solid piece of styrofoam that's not going to fall over you want something that's you know good and solid but anyway so I painted that up and I've got it here somewhere here we go now like this one for some reason I don't know I don't know if it was orange to start with I've got a I've got a strange feeling that it wasn't you know because there's but this orange color came through but that doesn't matter, that's not going to worry me. Now this feels really nice, really soft, and it's all glued down. And, if, and then if it comes up, just glue it back down in these little sticks. Um, I got a piece of uh, nice um, fawny colour lace because I thought that looked more like the old fashioned type. Okay, now on the top of it, I'll just put that over there, and then I will put some. Much podge on this and fasten it. I know, new brush because the other one's down in the water. Um, put the Mod Podge on here, on your, on your, on your umbrella. Mm -hmm. A bit messy, aren't I? Oh, but that's how you do your 
You work. <laughs> some, people, some people can do it really, really tidy. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I like to just get right in there up to my elbows. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Anyway, now, so we've got enough of that on there, I'd say. And I'm going to put that over so it's all coming down either side because I'm going to have to trim that round directly. Put that on there. Now, I don't care, but I, I'm not happy. I'm not. Oh, I'm not worried about the apricot colour that's coming through because you should probably realise by now that I'm really a fan of that colour. The apricots and the greens and that, that go really nice together, don't they? The pinks and and so you just do this. Now, and the reason I come up with this was I just sit here and fiddle with it till I got it right. I mean, you, you know, you think, oh, now what can I do now? What does that bird need? And I thought, no, it needs an umbrella. I just so happened to have bought these because I have a habit of that. I just pick up things because I think, I wonder what I can do with that. Well, it only costs a dollar for a packet and I've got a fair few in it, I think. Anyway, so we do that round there like so. I don't really want to dry that just yet. I haven't finished with it. <coughs> I'll wet it on me, sorry. Now we'll just trim around here carefully to take that off. Okay, seem to be, oh dear, I suppose I'm not even in the camera shot here. It'd be another bit of a funny thing, wouldn't it, if I haven't got the flogging thing turned on? Sorry for saying that. <laughs> oh dear, Sonny, what's going on here? Maybe I'm getting, st my scissors are getting stuck. Now, the other one that I made, I left a hangover on it. Okay, I just, I thought to myself, Sonia, that's not quite the same, I can tell. But, <clears throat> it doesn't matter. You can either cut it off the same size, or you can hang it over. Now, put some more, more much podge on, so we'll get it right. So we're quite happy that it's going to sit there and stay there. nooks and crannies here that you make sure that you get it pushed down properly. <clears throat> there we go. Now, because I cut that off it's not as big but that doesn't matter because you might want to put a small thing underneath it, you know, you, whatever you put underneath it, under your brolly. Um, that one there I did, like I said, it's a little bit wider. As you can see, I just trimmed it, let it go out right around the edge there. So I would have made it a bit bigger. This one looks good too. I'm happy with this too. I'm not going to be disappointed with that at all. I could just get, stick him up in here a minute while I get a piece of this. And probably it's good to have that to work on too as well while you now, I need some glue, and I'm going to put the glue around the edge of it, and I'm going to put my, my bottom in the camera shot here, and I'm going to put this bit of frilly stuff around here. And then all I did then, we'll see you can do any colour you like, but I'll, this is for back in, you know, making an old fashioned umbrella, okay? This is an old fashioned one, okay? <laughs> That's what we're doing. I don't know if there's any too many modern ones with all these frilly things and, and that on it. Oh, wait a minute, now it's just spinning around. But it's, um, it's good to have something that hangs onto things for you. I have some of those um, little tiny clamp things that I did used to use with my jewellery that I would hold things down with so they you could work on them, you know, because you need, and you only pay two dollars for them, it's just like a little clip on a stand, and, and but see this oasis isn't very dear either, and it comes in handy for this, it makes me a nice umbrella thing to dry my umbrellas and make them in, and me um, butterflies too, and anything else that I'm making, 
I used it for styrofoam, but I actually have used the styrofoam in the cupboard there to prop up your paint, so I did. I'm just, well, I well got that for at the moment. I'll just keep going around here with this. And then I put some tiny little flowers on the umbrella. Now it's up to you what sort of decoration you want to use. Let's put on yours. Oh, these scissors are not very good. Oh, they're disgusting. We're going to have to do something about those, aren't we? We might have to replace them. There we go. Yeah, that's not really good at all, Sonia. Everything's stuck up to me now. I'm cut that off there. Come on. Come on, you. No, 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 no. Don't come undone. Oh, there's nothing worse, you know. You've got glue all over you. Nothing. <laughs> sticking to you but nothing to the right the right thing is not sticking to the right thing is it never mind I'm laughing I'm not crying so we're having fun okay <laughs> so anyway so this is um my very <laughs> yeah I don't know I'm not too disappointed with him you know I'm not too disappointed with him at all and then on the other one see I just put the little flowers yeah see the little flowers and I think I'll put a little bead or something on the top of that, or a half pearl, like a flat back pearl. Now, where's a little flower from? Where am I going to get one of those? I know I've seen some in a pink packet a while ago. Here we go, look at this, there's a little flower there. Whether we want these colour or not, I don't know today, but... Oh dear, they're not going to come out. Oh dear, I hope you're not getting bored with this. <coughs> If there's anything at all that you've seen me make or showed, <coughs> or not made, I meant that I've put on any of my bits of work that you would like to know. I know I want to do a tutorial on my miniatures because I really love making them. Now you only want three and at, you know, in quarter intervals. Okay. Flowers, maybe you could put um, just a little. A um, couple of beads on if you wanted to put on whatever you feel you need to because it's all your thing, it's all your decoration, and it's all what you're going to have fun doing. And I need a bead for the top of him. And I don't know what else you'll put up there just to finish him off a bit. No, that might work. Enjoy this little white one because the end of it was just too thick on this this one that I got him. Let me just pop a bead on the top there with my umbrella. And I hope that that looks good. <laughs> anyway, if <laughs> if you don't see it, you'll know. <laughs> if you don't see it, it won't matter, will it? Because I won't put it up if I don't think it looks right. So that's my umbrella. Mind you, you can give it, once it's dry, you can put it in any sort of direction you want to. Um, so that's what I've been doing. This one's a bit skew with, but we're going to have to wait till he dries and give him a little tweak here and there, and then he can go on a project. You can even flatten it down if you wanted to, take it halfway, make it a half one. You know, if you like to you know, to put it on something flat, but it'd be really look nice on the box or something with flowers underneath it, I guess. And you can paint the post as well. Don't forget to paint the post. I forgot about the post. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope that you can do a few of those bits and pieces and can come back and show me how you went. Thank you very much for